Welcome to Chronospan. Chronospan is a dynamic organisation committed to achieving high standards of health, safety and environmental performance. All our operations are controlled by internationally agreed management systems known as ISO 14001, ISO 9001 and OSAS 18001. Those systems require that you receive this induction training and that you follow our rules and procedures. For each of these systems, we have policy statements that are on display in the training centre. This is so that we can provide a safe place of work for you and for everyone around you. And so that we can ensure that we do protect the environment. OK, so this is the answer sheet to the induction. There's 15 questions in terms You will have been given a sheet with a set of answers printed on it. From time to time during this DVD, you will be asked questions about what you've seen, so please pay attention. Remember, disciplinary action will be taken against any person breaking our rules. Having received this training, ignorance will not be an excuse. When you're working on site, you have a responsibility to take a critical look at every aspect of your work. You should be continually asking yourself these questions. Could I be doing this more safely? And is my work affecting the environment? You meet our safety and environmental procedures as soon as you enter the site. Knowing just who is on site is a vital part of dealing with any emergency, so you are required to record your site entry and exit using your clock card. Remember, in an emergency, lives may be put at risk looking for you if you haven't clocked in or out correctly. If you don't already have one, please make sure that you collect your clock card at your induction or immediately afterwards. There are two types of card, a temporary one for short-term contractors and a permanent one for employees and longer-term contractors. If you lose yours, you'll be charged for a replacement. Never enter the site if you're under the influence of alcohol or drugs. If you're on prescribed medication, make sure that they do not affect your ability to do your job safely. If necessary, check with your doctor. And if we think you've been drinking, we will breathalyse you. It's Cronospan's policy to segregate pedestrians from moving vehicles. There are different segregation systems in different areas depending upon the risk. In some areas, like the log yard, pedestrians are forbidden unless they have the permission of the log yard manager. In the pre-production area, there are two zones. A system of red flashing lights, known as wigwags, let you know about the movement of vehicles between the zones. When the wigwags are flashing, no pedestrian or vehicle is allowed to enter the area. In some places, walkways are protected behind steel barriers. In others, there are raised walkways. And in low-risk areas, walkways are simply painted on the ground you must always keep to designated walkways and pedestrians should always give way to vehicles. Forklift trucks have special problems of obscured vision and rear wheel steer, so be particularly vigilant when near them on foot or in an enclosed area. To operate a fork truck or any other mobile plant on site, you must have a plant operator's license. When parking your vehicle, we ask you not to park in these spaces reserved for visitors or on any of the main vehicle routes. Passes to bring a vehicle onto site are only issued to contractors 
who require access in order to transport heavy loads or equipment. If you're entering the site in a vehicle, you and all your passengers must still present your card at the pedestrian turnstile, so that the system knows that you're on site. You must follow the same procedure when you leave. Most of the site has a one-way traffic system, so please obey the signs. You must switch on your vehicle hazard lights whenever you're moving around the site. We've set the speed limit at 10 or even 5 miles per hour because we have some very special hazards on site. One such hazard is forklift trucks. They have priority, so be vigilant at all times and ensure that the forklift truck driver is aware of your presence. Behind the reception area, vehicles under 7.5 tonnes are directed through a traffic light system that segregates them from dispatch traffic. <laughs> Apart from that, the normal rules set out in the highway code apply to any vehicles on site. Please obey all traffic lights and other signs. Please park so as not to cause an obstruction. We reserve the right to carry out random security searches to your vehicle when you leave. Mobile phones are an important part of everyday communications on site, but there are two specific areas where they're not allowed. These are the formal implant and the LPG refuelling area. Elsewhere in the factory, do not use a mobile phone while you're walking along because you'll be distracted and may walk into danger. And of course, don't use one while you're driving. Machine guards are there to protect you. If anyone spots a broken one, they have a duty to report it straight away. Guards must not be removed other than for maintenance purposes when they must be replaced before the machine is used again. Any attempt to defeat a guard, like this, is illegal and anyone found doing so may be liable to prosecution an exclusion from the site. Before working on any moving machinery, it must be securely isolated and locked out in accordance with company procedures. The lockout requirement will be detailed in the risk assessment method statement. Cronisban Chirk is a non-smoking site. Anyone found smoking or vaping anywhere within the factory perimeter may be permanently excluded from the site. Smoking is restricted to this one designated area outside the factory gate at specific times. The canteen is situated in the middle road at the east end of the factory office block. A counter service is available at the allotted times. For employees, breakfast is served from 9 till 10 and lunch is from 12 till 1.30. For contractors, breakfast is 10 till 10.30 and lunch is at 12.30 to 1.30. This is to reduce congestion and queuing. Outside of these times, the seating area in the canteen is available 24 hours a day for your own food and the vending machines and microwaves are always available. Before you start work, you have to consider what personal protective equipment, or PPE, you require. 
If you're a contractor, your employer must supply it and they must also instruct you in its correct use. For employees, hard hats, high protection and high vis are compulsory in pre-production, the formalin and resin plants and the log yard. Elsewhere, you must follow local signage. For contractors, hard hats or bump hats and high visibility clothing are mandatory in all areas as a minimum. Approved safety footwear is mandatory for all personnel. Please note that bump hats do not offer the same level of protection as a hard hat. Eye protection is required if you're grinding, if you're using a banding tool, or if you're chipping. Remember, your site cannot be repaired or replaced. There's a choice of eye protection available, much of it specifically designed for certain jobs. Ear protection dramatically reduces the risk of hearing damage. Remember, most hearing damage is permanent and irreversible. Again, there's a choice of protection, each designed for specific risks. Mandatory ear protection zones are clearly marked, but to be totally effective, you must put on the ear protection before entering the zone and keep it on for the whole time that you're in the hazard area. Many jobs require you to wear gloves, and again, there are many different types from which to choose. Respiratory protection is another important area. Air-fed helmets, dust masks and light fume masks can be vital in protecting your health. You must also be aware of situations where your activities may make it necessary for someone else to either keep out of the way or to wear PPE. Safety signs are in use throughout the site. Mandatory signs are blue. These signs mean that you must obey their instruction. In this case, to wear eye protection. Prohibition signs are red. These tell you that you must not do something. In this case, no smoking. Warning signs are yellow. These signs warn of hazards, such as forklift trucks. Safety information signs are green. They supply information, this example being the fire exit route. The very nature of Chronospan's production processes mean that fire protection and awareness are paramount. There's always a risk of fire or even explosion where there's dust. You must practice good fire prevention at all times. Clear up as you work to avoid piles of materials that could burn. Good housekeeping practices must be implemented at all times. Make sure you know where the fire escape routes are in the area you're working in and that they are free from obstruction. All built up areas of the factory are accessible with fire hose reels and these are the most effective on burning solid material fires. Under no circumstances must water be used on a thermal oil fire. Fire extinguishers are readily available throughout the factory and these are colour coded. Each extinguisher has a coloured band showing the fire media content. Cream labelled fire extinguishers are foam based and can be used on all types of fire except on an electrical fire. Red labelled fire extinguishers contain water and should only be used on solid material fires such as rags, wood, paper or cardboard. Never use a red labelled fire extinguisher or a fire hose reel on any electrical fire or on burning liquids. Blue labelled fire extinguishers contain dry powder 
and are suitable on all types of fire. Black labelled bulbous topped fire extinguishers contain carbon dioxide and are also suitable for fighting all types of fire. If you do discover a fire, before you do anything else, activate the nearest fire alarm call point or dial 222 from the nearest landline phone. If you feel confident enough to fight the fire, use the correct type of fire extinguisher to put it out. Snatch out the safety pin and do a short test squirt first before tackling the fire. Don't linger if you're affected by the smoke and never return to the area with a second extinguisher if the fire did not go out with the first one. Even if you've successfully put out the fire, always await the arrival of the Chronospan internal fire crew so that you can give them a full account of what has happened. There are two types of fire alarm and a separate site evacuation alarm. The fire alarm with a continuous tone means the fire is in your area. Immediately stop what you're doing and walk quickly via the nearest and safest escape route to the fire assembly point. If the alarm is intermittent, it means that the alarm has been raised somewhere else in the factory. There's no need to evacuate, but remain alert and ready in case you're asked to do so. If the alarm changes to a continuous alarm, Evacuate the site. Go directly to the main car park. In the event of an emergency, you can get help by dialing 222 from the nearest phone. If there's been a serious injury, like this one, call an ambulance first by dialing 999 from your mobile. Then let the Weybridge know there's an ambulance coming by dialing 222. Hi, it's Jamie. There's been a serious accident down at the IBC waste area. I've called an ambulance. Can you please clear the Weybridge and make sure the, the route is clear for the ambulance, please? All injuries, however minor, must be treated by a trained first aider, who can be contacted by dialing 201 or by hitting the emergency button on the first aid room, which is situated under the canopy on Middle Road. Now we come to the point where we give you some work and get you to answer some questions about what you've seen so far. So please have your answer sheet ready in front of you. Ready? Here we go. Question one. 